Good morning, dear friends. Before we start the Mass, we pray for the UNACO uh, company. They sponsor this Mass today for the protection of the UNACO employees, distributors, dealers, partners, and endorsers, and their families, and in thanksgiving, and also for good health. We join thanking, in thanking God our birthday celebrants, Marlene Servestre, the YY Fernandez, Joey Lee, Sunshine Suero, Glenn Ibanez, Renan de la Cruz, Simon Dumandan, and Peter Papel. Joy Remo, Antonio Fernandez, Gilbert Balana, Let the Guia, Ronald Suarez, Jamila JC Guevara, Jay Bakiran, Joven Guevara, Sandra in Karma, Attorney Victor Roy Macalintan, Gay Herrera, Gemma Gore, Angela Marie Lat, Lucas, Auster Magdangal, Joey Magalona, and Lou Nepomuceno. Thanksgiving of Jerry Mabasa and family, Norman Manalili, Larry and Bard Watch and family, Dr. Edson, Erdson Suero and family. Thanksgiving to Bobby and Terry Alvarez, Jerry and Sam Munsayak, Dr. Evangeline Del Rosario, June and Venci Familiano, Joji and Annie Santos, Lita Ilano and family, Rian Esguera, Sedi Vargas, Oscar and Connie Lopez. Lynn, Peguilla, Joy, Villar, Mayet, Arcangeles, Lita Ilano, and Jerry Mabasa, Bobby and, and Karen Santos and family, Ron and Fair, Fiona and Chris McHenry, the Passion and Tangaroa family, and Ernie Delphine and family. We pray, Lord, for the wedding anniversary of Darwin and Julia Sess, Jack, and Carla Siao, intentions of Arlene Mendoza, Isabella Mendoza, Reggie de la Cruz, and for the healing of Mary Ann de Rosares, Pinky Tobiano, Jimbo Dio, Kathy Mejiliano, Regine Scopete, Mary Ann Leonardo, Arlene Zapatalo, Brady Young, healing of Jocelyn and Felix de Guzman, Chris Briones, Florence Indai Chan, Henny Pimentel, for Mick Isguera, Lino Villegas, Father Rick Dumas, Dr. Alex Torrio, Wilfredo Ivalia, Mirna, Myra Henson, Eric and Marivic Aurelio, Mercurio Elisano, Christian Alvar, Annalisa Marcelo Matutina, Kurt Castillo and Helen Bunda. And for the souls of Pedro Gervasio, Arturo, Arturo Pierre Caforte, Jenny Uy, Manuel Garcia Gaco. The souls of Romualdo, Blessa de Passion, Isidro Raul Angela Tinoco, Karen Puno Ibaya, Ian Verina, Bernardo Odasco. Reynaldo and Rosario Campos, Carlos and Josefina Villar, Divina Villar, Edwin Ronald Frontera, Joseph Bolus, Louis La Rosa, Zotera Santos, Emmanuel Nunez, Jerico Erlito Chang, Alida Chang Bailon, and Danny Lim. We bring now all these intentions, our own and our own intention to the Eucharist, to the heart of our loving God and Father.
brothers, wherever you are, whatever you're going through, this moment we come together to honor our loving God and thank Him. So we begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear friends, it's a joy to join you every Sunday to be united with you. Saan man tayo naroon sa buong mundo, papasalamat po tayo sa ating Panginoon. Next week ay Valentine's Day na. Day of hearts, day of love. Every day is a day of heart, day of love of the greatest Valentine. Our God who has a heart. Ang Diyos natin may puso. We bow our heads in humility, in gratitude, and also in contrition. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on us and the whole world. Please be merciful. We need you. And as we lift up our contrition to the Lord, lahat din po tayo, as we begin this Mass, magpatawad po tayo. Let us forgive and ask for forgiveness from people we have hurt in any way. So in humility we pray, I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God. God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We have many things to thank God for. Kapatid, please count your blessings, not what is missing. And so together we praise and thank the Lord as we pray, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King. O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Let us now include our personal thanksgiving requests and intentions. Our God is a God who listens to every prayer. And again, our collective prayer, Sana, Lord, this pandemic will end soon. Sana, Lord, keep us safe from the virus. And we pray especially for frontliners who risk their lives so that others may live. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
A reading from the book of Job. Job spoke, saying, Is not man's life on earth a drudgery? Are not his days those of hirelings? He is a slave who longs for the shade, a hireling who waits for his wages. So I have been assigned months of misery, and troubled nights have been allotted to me. If in bed I say, When shall I rise? Then the night drags on. I am filled with restlessness until the dawn. My days are swifter than a weaver's shuttle. They come to an end without hope. Remember that my life is like the wind. I shall not see happiness again. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. Praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. Praise the Lord for He is good. Sing praise to our God for He is gracious. It is fitting to praise Him. The Lord rebuilds Jerusalem, the dispersed of Israel He gathers. Praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He tells the number of the stars. He calls each by name. Praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. To His wisdom there is no limit. The Lord sustains the lowly. The wicked He casts to the ground. Praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if I preach the gospel, there is no reason for me to boast, for an obligation has been imposed on me. And woe to me if I do not preach it. If I do so willingly, I have a recompense. But if unwillingly, then I have been instructed then I have been entrusted with a stewardship. What then is my recompense? That when I preach, I offer the gospel free of charge, so as, not to, so as not to make full use of my right in the gospel. Although I am free in regard to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so as to win over as many as possible. To, weak, to the weak, I became weak, to win over the weak. I have become all things to all, to save at least some. All this I do for the sake of the gospel, so that I too may have a share in it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise to honor the holy gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John, Simon's mother-in-law, sick with a fever. They immediately told him about her. He approached grasped her hand and helped her up then the fever left her and she waited on them when it was evening after sunset they brought to him 
all who were ill or possessed by demons. The whole town was gathered at the door. He cured many who were sick with various diseases. He drove out many demons, not permitting them to speak because they knew him. Rising very early before dawn, he left and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. Simon and those who were with him pursued him, and on finding him, said, Everyone is looking for you. He told them, Let us go on to the nearby villages, that I may preach also there. For this purpose have I come. So he went into their synagogues, preaching and driving out demons throughout the whole of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Bless this unworthy priest that I may preach with the heart, not just with the lips. I may preach with humility and that the people who listen will listen with their hearts, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit. We need you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father Eugene Baldomar, the one who read the gospel. Um, young, Father is 20, 20, 29 years old, and one year old priest tomorrow. Happy first anniversary, Father Eugene, from Davao. And guess what? <laughs> This young priest, I thought maybe some of you, it's a little boy. Oh no, this priest, our SVD missionary, is going to the foreign missions, the Amazons, Brazil. Wow. And he spent already three, four months in preparation for that in Lubang, Occidental Mindoro. Marami salamat po, Father Eugene, for the inspiration you're following exactly what the Lord did to go to other places to bring the Word of God, to heal, to comfort. And speaking of priests, we praise and thank God, mga kapatid. Yesterday, three priests, new priests also, for this sight of the Divine Word. So we like to thank God. They were ordained yesterday, Father Jerome Tugadi, SBD from Abra, and he's assigned to Mexico. Father Don Don de Guzman from the Pangasinan is assigned to Japan. Arigato gozaimasu ne. And Father Th Thomas Nguyen, SBD from Vietnam, is assigned to China. Xie xie. Xie xie. So there you are. This is a reminder for all of us that we all have a mission. Alam po nyo, mga kapatid, I grew up in a time and in a place where, you know, Everybody wanted to become professional. And it was a pride. Nagtataka ako noon, bakit yung mga, <laughs> yung mga diploma ng mga professional nasa labas ng bahay. Have you seen those in the province? Outside the house would be doctor so-and-so, doctor of medicine, or engineer. Ibig sabihin, 
Well, meron, kung ano nung nilalagay. Uh, meron pang walang malagay, nilagyan na rin ng karatula. Ice for sale. <laughs> Ganun ba? Or walang malagay na karatula, di, beware, beware of dogs. Ibig sabihin, people took pride and still do take pride in being professional. Means you have a profession. Kaya nga po eh, may mga kwan doon, sabi, pag sabi, sinasabihin tayo noon eh, parang wala kang pinag-aralan. Parang derogatory yan, ah. Uh, awanti, saka ka nga nag-adal. O kaya sa Pangasian, aga, aga abangatan. Yun nga ganun. Because they said, once you're professional, well, you're supposed to be good here, and you're also supposed to be good moral character, etc., so that was the expectation. But what happens? It's interesting. Maraming professional, pero siya naman ay naging mayabang, titulado, pero mayabang, at iba, abusado pa. Jesus tells us today sa gospel, ang ganda po eh, Jesus was so popular. He was maybe professional, rock star. Everybody was looking for him. Okay? Mataas po. Maraming followers. But look at Jesus. Professional, but still personal. He took time to visit the mother-in-law of Peter. And, by the way, Peter, bakit daw? Well, a little story for the millennials who might be, anong proof na mayroon ng telephone during the time of Jesus? Hmm? Okay. You go to the Bible, sabi, di ba, denial ni Peter. Ayun, three times denial. <laughs> My telephone. And the other question about Peter, why did Peter betray Jesus in the end? Sabi nila, kasi Jesus healed his mother-in-law. <laughs> you know, there are stories associated with Peter. Anyway, mga kapatid, Jesus took time. You see in the gospel many times, he stopped for a blind man with the lepers. That's, that's very personal. Mayroon po kasi mga iba, wow, professional at hindi mo na malapitan. Uh, mayroon cordon sanitaire. You know, Jesus knew how, how to really bring the love of God in a very personal way. And the other thing why Jesus is so personal, it simply says, Jesus went to a lonely place and he went to pray. Rising very early before dawn, he left and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. Now that is a very personal thing. Kaya nga po, alam nyo, kung ang tao hindi na po nagdadasal, panay na lang profession, panay na lang. You know, sooner or later, you burn out, you get burned out. Well, you become shallow. <laughs> and you become Easily, one for the money, two for the show. We have to have roots. Ang tao pong rootless, yung walang ugat, can easily become ruthless. Magiging matapang, masungit, mayabang. Ayan. If you are rooted in God, hindi ka po magiging matapang, masungit, at you know, you abuse others. That's why, mga kapatid, today, I would like to us to focus on Jesus. And maybe 
as an advice to brother priests, you who are young, you're just starting. We were learning, we still have much to learn, but these are the things perhaps we should not forget. Lahat po tayo mga kapatid. How to become personal, even if you're professional? How? Number one, let all you do be done with love. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 14. Before you do anything, like, Lord, ito na po, magmimisa na po ako. Let me do it with love. Ito na po, Lord, magpapakumpisal ako napaka andami. Lord, you have to remind yourself, mga kapatid. Kayo po, you go to work. Why do I go to work? Lord, it's for love. Yan po magandang awitin nyo, what I did for love. Naalala po ba nyo yung palagi ko pong sinasabi? Just to remind myself, why am I doing all these things? And I had a code, boy, because of you. Boy, 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 boy. Ang problema, marami sa atin, we remember the boy, but you don't remember the feelings anymore. Diba? Shall we sing that? And I remember the boy, but I don't remember the feelings anymore. And that shows, kayo mga mag you know, you have to go back. Go back. Because many of us, because of work and stress, many of us lose that loving feeling. Yeah, that's a problem. You've lost that loving feeling. Oh, that loving feeling. You sing the man. Some of you have not sung for one week already. Come on. You've lost that loving feeling. Now it's gone, gone, gone. Whoa, whoa. Yan. I guess humility, if you forget your profession, etc., then you can recapture that. Some people tell me, Father, I don't, I don't laugh at jokes. You know, I'm professional, you know. Ooh. May mga ganun eh. Ano ba yan? Pa-joke, joke, mga smiley, smiley. Wala yan sa akin. I'm professional, Father. You know, there are more serious things in this world. Okay, okay. I mean, <laughs> look, it's your choice. I keep saying, don't take yourself too seriously. Whatever you have. Money. Position, title, etc. If that goes to your head, oh, oh, we're going to have a somebody here will throw his, his or weight around, and because of that, hey, all this come from the Lord. They can be gone in one flick of a finger. That's what the pandemic has taught all of us. You know, there's one thing na nangyari sa pandemic na ito. People, this is the great equalizer in many ways. At least now. Everyone, young or old, rich or poor, may kinakatakutan na. Mayroong pinag-iingatan na. It's the virus that made us all now aware, hey, it could hit me. So, professional ka and you don't believe that there, it's there, hey, look, humility is the key. Anyway, let everything you do be done with love. Yeah. At magaan po. Magaan. If you know that you're doing it with love, then it's like, Come to me, all you are tired and heavily burdened. I will give you rest. The problem is we don't come to the Lord. We do it our way, my way. This is my agenda. This has to be done according to my own plan. Ay, mahirap pong ganun. Dami tayong plano, pero you know, it's God ang nagdidispose ng lahat yan. So, again, that brings me to the second advice to all of us, especially the young priests or starting out, do everything with humility. Jesus, this example of Jesus, the gospel, 
he was popular. Dami siyang followers. Dami siyang viewers. Everybody looking for him. But, you know, what did Jesus do? He didn't stay in the spotlight. He avoided the spotlight. Mga kapatid, you know, there's a little, well, acronym I made for us to remember humility. H, humility means to honor God. Bigyan natin ng honor, dangal ang Panginoon. Magpakumbaba tayo at sabihin natin, Panginoon, kayo po ang Panginoon. May mga tao po, feeling nila, sila ang Panginoon. At yan din ang pinaparamdam nila sa iba. Ang tao pong may Diyos, marunong po, ma- ma- alam po niya na hindi siya indispensable. And he cannot gawin niyang gusto niyang lahat sapagkat meron siyang pananagutan. So you know what, mga kapatid? Look at yourself. If you're a humble person, you know what? You honor God. You want to honor God? Be more humble. Okay? We honor our father and mother. Much more, we honor our God. Sanang buhay natin is a big, one big honor to our Creator. Yung you sa humility, your humility means you understand people. Remember what the Lord is saying? Lean not on your own understanding. It's in the book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5. Ito po maraming away-away kasi itong opinion ko, itong posisyon ko, ganyan yan. Deadlock. If you understand, maganda po yung sinabi ni St. Francis. Remember the prayer? Lord, help me to seek not so much to be understood, but to understand. And that implies you listen. Mga po, hindi walang pinapakinggan. Sarili lang. If you know how to listen, you pray that you also will know how to understand. Um... M in the word humility is you know how to move aside. Kung ganyan ka, po. Well, somebody must budge. Somebody just, okay, after you, go ahead. Maraming relationships yan ang problema. Walang nagbibigayan. Traffic. Whatever it is, the Lord calls us to move aside. If there's anything maybe you're going through right now na parang deadlock, you pray to the Lord, Lord, give me humility just to move aside. Why can we do that? Why? For the greater good. For the common good. Like I can give up what I want for the sake of the greater good, right? Oh, bakit ako susunod sa mga regulations sa ngayong pandemic? Kung ako lang, ay wala akong pakialam. Ganon, ang iba. But for the greater good, I will do it. Ito po palagi-palagi sanang isipin po natin na like the vaccine, for example. So, have you decided to get the vaccine or not? But there are two points here to remember. Two Two points to remember. Number one, for your own safety, yes, and for the safety of others. Para hindi, kasi mga iba, okay naman ako, Father. Yeah, okay ka, pero bakit maging carrier ka naman? Di ba? De, kayang-kaya ko yung mga virus-virus. <laughs> You're thinking of yourself. How about others? Maybe you're safe from the vaccine, according to your own mind. But are you sure you're not carrying it to others? That's what it means, move aside. Humility is the key. Oh, yung I. If you have humility, you invite. You don't snub. Kasi you know? 
we become worms that stops people. Instead, be a cave, cave that brings in people. And you also include, not exclude, oh, tayo, tayo lang ito, exclusive tayo, kasi sila, hindi sila, tayo lang, privilege, ha, ha, ha. Ito na naman. If we are humble, we get out of our make-believe, uh, you know, class or grupo natin. Saint Fran Pope Francis is telling us all that. Go, get involved, go to the flock, be with them, smell like them. So Lord, give us, help us not to snub people or shut off people. Yung L sa humility ito, lower, lower your pride, lower your voice. Ang tataas ng boses, maybe you can even lower your eyebrows, taas ng kilay. Di ba? Ang mga yan, ganyan, oh wow, lower. Lower your expectations. Bakit mga tao ganito sila, ganito, hello. Welcome to the human race. God loves us. We have no right to judge people. Lower. Kaya nga po ang ganda ng Tagalog ng humility. Magpakumbaba. Tama-tama po yung translation yan. It's all about lowering ourselves. Lowering our pride. Jesus knew how to lower himself. No? And... T, you take, take the bullet. Oh, sorry, one more. The I, napaganda po ito. Ignore the applause. Okay. Don't let the applause palakpak na mga tao become the center and you begin to believe. Eh? Believe ka na sarili. No. Jesus knew. Tignan nyo, ang ganda po ng ginawa ni Jesus. He faded away. Hindi po siya nagpa-staring God, if only we all learn that. And don't bask in the, in the spotlight. No. Fade away. And the other thing is, T, take the bullet. <laughs> sige, ako na lang sasalo. Ako na lang. Or, sige, okay, it's my fault. You know, that kind of... Father, you know, people will tell you, pamartir naman yan, Father. Sorry for the word, ha? Ah. Katangahan na yan, Father. Yeah. In the eyes of the world, it's foolish. In the economy of God, ano yan, luging-lugi tayo, Father. <laughs> Talaga. Sa totoo lang. If you understand it from the point of view of the world, It's foolish. But in the eyes of God, it's not. So, take the bullet. Okay, sorry na lang, pasensya na. And why yield? Okay, yes, okay. I yield, sige na, okay. Is this cover this? I don't know. I believe... If this is all done, honoring God, understanding, moving aside, inviting, not snubbing, uh, lowering pride, etc., uh, ig ignoring the applause, taking the bullet and yielding, this is foolish in the eyes of the world. But if you do it for God, with the Lord, it's a beautiful offering. And you know what? Humility leads to peace. It's the road less traveled. Let's give it a chance. If you want to have a peaceful life and a more meaningful life, maybe it's time to say, hey, I'm taking the road of humility now. One with you in this journey, mga kapatid. And please don't forget also to all those who work for the Lord, kindness. 
be kind to people. People don't need our wisdom, don't need so much our whatever. People just need a little kindness. And they know they can feel the presence of God. Okay na yun. Specialize in kindness. That's all. Kahit wala kang mga karatula. <laughs> what the world needs now is more kind people. And I would like to also tell you again, focus on the Lord, huh? those who are going to serve. Focus on the Lord, not on the load. Don't get focused on your load of problems, work, uh, etc. Nakalimutan mo na si Lord kasi panay na lang yung problems, work issues. Don't do that. Learn from Jesus. He always went to a deserted place to pray. And focus on the Lord, not on the load. So we become loaded with titles, achievements, popularity, etc. Hey, that's nothing. That's nothing. You look at the Lord always. And specialize in kindness. And I'm very happy. My brother Manong Oscar sent me a, a video about kindness and generosity. You know why it touched me? Because I always wondered, wondered why I, I personally, whenever I see kindness, I, I, my heart really overflows with warmth and joy. When I receive kindness, I, I'm so happy. Um, there's something I cannot expect. Especially when I'm given the chance to be kind, to be generous. Especially if it's all anonymous. I, I almost cry. And I don't know why all, all these years. And Manong made me realize through that video, somebody was saying the presence of oxytocin. There's something in every one of us that when we experience kindness, we give kindness, etc. This oxytocin gives warmth. It makes us close to one another. It, it makes us feel good and makes others feel good. Yung pala. Yung pala. And that's what God put in all of us, in our nature. Lahat po tayo are good. Oh, I believe we are born with goodness. Never forget that. Never give up on people or on yourself. The basic goodness of everyone. Specialize in kindness and you've you experience something, not just to feel good, but definitely to honor our God. Give it a try, mga kapatid. But make it genuine and better, make it anonymous. Try it. Every day, you say something good, you do something good, genuinely, and you'll experience the presence of God. So, mga kapatid, let us now honor our God in humility, the source of all goodness. As we pray, I believe in one, one God, God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and become man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, 
who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who was spoken through the prophets, I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In humility, we come before our God and bring our prayers and our petitions. May the Lord continue to bless Pope Francis and the leaders of the church as they carry on Jesus' mission of healing us physically and spiritually. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May all Christians, with the sufferings we bear amid, amid this pandemic, yearn and find healing in Jesus' word and in our faith, deeply connected with him, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May our political leaders end their pursuit of self-interest and political division and provide responsive programs and projects that is rooted on genuine service and healing, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May our brothers and sisters who are physically sick and those who are seeking for healing find consolation in Jesus' mercy in the gospel and promise to share our burden of suffering. May we also be God's instruments of healing through our presence and support to them. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the Lord bless the mission of our newly ordained SVD priests, the fiat class, who are who are also tasked to go out and proclaim God's merciful love and promise of eternal life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May those celebrating their birthdays and anniversaries this February continue to receive God's bountiful blessings and grow deeper in their faith and service to their families and others, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we offer all these prayers to the intercession of Mama Mary, and in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. sacrifice, our thanksgiving may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord our God, who once established these created things, 
to sustain us in our frailty. Grant, we pray that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's really right and just. Our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashion for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord, through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with this in one chorus, exultant praise as we sing. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The brothers and sisters, wherever you are right now, welcome the Lord in humility, with gratitude and joy. Lord, you are holy indeed, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down upon them the Spirit, like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat it. This is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. How may we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. And Lord, remember your church throughout the world, spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, the clergy, and missionaries, religious, all over the world. Remember to Lord, our departed relatives and friends. We pray for all the victims of COVID-19, especially frontliners, essential workers who risk their lives and give their lives so that others may live. Bring them and all that departed to the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, the apostles and martyrs, and all you saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them, give your glory to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him. The unity of the Holy Spirit of glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, we have a Father, a loving Father. May we become sons and daughters who are loving, who are kind, peaceful, 
generous. We honor now God, our Father. peace. Keep us free from sin, protect us from all anxieties, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, O Lord, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace and the love and the joy of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Peace be with you all. And the joy of the Lord be with you all. Thank you. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Sisters and brothers, wherever you are this moment, whatever you're going through, just bow your head. Let this be a heart-to-heart -heart moment with the Lord. The Lord is with you wherever you are. And tell the Lord again, Lord, thank you. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon. Lord, sorry. Patawad po, Panginoon. Patawad po. Lord, help me. Help us. Patulong po. Patulong po, Panginoon. Lord, stay with us. Maraming salamat po. Mahal ka namin, Panginoon. Salamat po sa pagmamahal ninyo sa amin. Happy are we who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Dear brothers and sisters, it's almost a year now yeah, it's a year now since the pandemic. I invite all of us just to bow our heads, put your right hand over your heart. Lalung lalo na po mga kapatid natin this moment na may mga mabibigat na pinagdadaanan. Especially Lord, we pray for people who are sick or in pain that need your healing, the 
make your presence an assurance. You're the greatest healer, Lord. The many who have emotional problems, depressions, hopelessness, anger, impatience, boredom, Lord, send forth your Holy Spirit. For you know, the many who are suffering physically, poverty, deprivations, for ang trabaho, Panginoon, huwag po niyo kaming pababayaan. We also pray, Lord, for people who are undergoing darkness of the soul, in the darkness of sin and vices. Come, Holy Spirit, may the light of Jesus, the divine word, come upon us all. Panginoon, please heal also our character, especially our pride, our lack of compassion and kindness to people. Tulungan po niyo kami, Panginoon. Sana po, makinig po kami sa sinasabi niyo na kami po ay magbahalan magtulungan at anuman ang ginawa namin sa kapwa ginawa namin sa inyo Panginoon whatever we did to the least of our brothers and sisters we did it unto you Lord bless the world this world you loved so much this world now so wounded so fragile Isinuman po niyo sa aming mundo ang lahat po. Stay with us, Lord. Lift us out of this darkness. Amen, Lord. Amen. 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 So mga kapatid, uh, we'll have the harana after this. Oh, Sunday is Valentine's Day. Please specialize in kindness. And then you will experience the peace which the world cannot give, nor take away. Ito na siguro yun eh. Yung oxytocin. Iba po ang pakiramdam pag nandyan ang Panginoon at mayroong pagmamahal, kabutihan sa puso ng isang tao. Give it a chance. Give it a try. Love for more. And 8 p.m. Humility for more. Amen. And amen. Let us pray. O oh God, you have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice. Grant us we pray so to live that he made one in, made one in Christ we may, may we joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Receive the blessing, the love, the embrace, the smile, the assurance, and the blessing of our God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord with humility and with joy. Thanks be to God. Mientras recordes la vida, tú nunca solo estás contigo por el al caminar Santa María ven ven con nosotros a caminar 
Santa Maria Vem Vem que te diga Por un mundo nuevo, lucha por la verdad. Ven con nosotros a caminar, Santa María, ven. Ven con nosotros a caminar, Santa María, ven. Ok, ya. Um... Well, harana time. Uh, bakit may harana? Wala lang para maramdaman natin. Uh, hey, it's okay to be happy, to be joyful. And it's the joy of the Lord that is our strength. So, kahit po walang performance level, etc. But never mind, as long as it gives joy. And today, I like to honor husbands and wives. Preparation nato sa Valentine's Day. Diba? You who have withstood the noonday sun, at kayo pa rin. Wow. Congratulations by the grace of God. Alam nyo, marami dyan, away-away, halos maghiwalay, pero kayo pa rin. So, thank you. Congratulations. And maybe some of you will remember this. Kinakanta nyo ito noon, maybe 30 years ago, 40 years ago. Tignan ko nga, sing along please, those who remember this. Kung tayo ay matanda na, sana'y di tayo magbago. Yan, kailanman, nasan man, itong pangarap ko. Makuha mo pa yakayang ako'y hagan at yakabing. Ooh, ang ang pagtanda natin. Nagtatanong lang sa yon, ako pa kaya ibigin mo? Mabuti na ang buhok ko. Oh, come on, you hold hands and smile at Sather. Pagdating ng araw, ang yung buhok ay puputi na rin. Sa bay tayo ng araw na karan natin. Ang nakalibas ay ibabalik natin. Ooh, mapaalala ko sa iyo ng ang pag-ibig ko ay palagi lang sa iyo. Aking pangako. Kahit maputi ang buhok ko. Wow, diyo pati ng mga lyrics na kakalimutan na senior moments. Now, ngayon na maybe this is how we are singing it now, di ba? Now na ang ang kanta ng ayon ito. Ngayon tayo ay matanda na. Sana tayo magbago kailan man nasa tol ang araw ko ako abu pa kayo ako ay hagan at yakabi. Ngayon, matanda na tayo. Nagtatanong pa rin. Nagtatanong lang sa'yo. Ako ba ay iparin iniibig mo? 
kahit maputi na ang bukum. Dumating na ang araw. Ang iyong buhok ay maputi na rin. Sabay tayo mangangarap na karaan natin. Ang nakalipas ay ibabalik natin. Naaalala mo pa ba Ang aking pangako Na ang pag-ibig ko'y laging sa'yo Ngayon maputi Na ang buhok ko Ako sa'yo Ipapadyobos ko Ang maputing buhok ko Kung yan ang gusto mo Ngunit alam ko Na mahal mo pa rin ako Kahit maputi Na ang Thank you. Please don't forget that love you have. Congratulations. Hold on to each other and hold on to the Lord, okay? And, uh, oh, my English version ito, di ba? When I get old, losing my head many years from now Will you still be sending me a valentine? Birthday greetings, bottle of wine. Yon. Da 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 da. Da da da. What do you sound to me? Will you still love me? Will you still beat me when I'm 64? Yon. Thank you, thank you. Nako. And you know, kindness, kindness. I was touched. Um, I called, or oh, Abby, Abby called me. I said, where are you? I said, Father, I'm in the hospital. Ako. Ha, why? I said, what happened? I brought my yaya for checkup. You know, she mismo nag drive. That gesture of kindness. Sa, kasama nila sa bahay. That's kindness. May we treat people with kindness. Remember this. As the Lord tells us. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brother that you do unto me. Yeah, don't forget that, please. Okay. And to all, uh, Praise and thank God for those who are recovering, who have recovered, um, Annie Santos, and all of you. And dami pong mga ba. Of course, there are people who passed on. Basta no regrets that we did everything. And don't ever regret what you did for love. And so our prayer again is that we meet again. Good Lord, bless and keep you, whether near or far away. May you find that long awaited golden day today. May your troubles all small ones and your fortune 
ten times ten. May the good Lord bless and keep you till we meet again. Okay, guys, the millennials, hey, we need you. Thank you, everyone. Be strong. Have faith. All will be well. One day at a time. One day at a time. And may you have many more oxytocin that really warms the heart. Specialize in kindness and generosity. Bless us all, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>